So Max Bonine taking his car off the back of the pit stretch, uh, back of the uh, back stretch for some safety concerns on the 14. So the lights go out. We're going to go green here off turn number four. Austin Honeycutt goes to the top spot in the 3A. Tony Fontenot in the 23, the 69 V of Danny Vanderveen, the 35 X. Connor Brown, your top four. Brian Long working the. Low Six as is Nate Fontenot in the N8. But off turn four, lap number one is going to go to the 3A of Austin Honeycutt. Austin Honeycutt leads Danny Vanderveen. Connor Brown looks at the inside of Tony Fontenot for third. Brian Long looks at the inside. Three wide for the third spot. Fontenot and Brown doing a little rubbing there in three and four. As Fontenot trying to hold on to that third spot. Big bottleneck behind him as they're three wide momentarily as Brian Long up the inside takes the spot. As does Connor Brown. Here comes Nate Fontenot in the N8 to join the battle as well. But up front in turn number four, Austin Honeycutt, your leader, Danny Vanderveen, second. Tony Fontenot in the 23, way outside turns three and four. He'll pull back on track. Fontenot having a little trouble in the 23 car. I mentioned a couple weeks ago, that car was upside down in the backstretch, so glad to see he's got that car uh, working good here early on tonight. But your leader's off turn number four. It's the 3A Austin Honeycutt. Danny Vanderbeek second. Brian Long way outside of turn four. That car not wanting to turn. Brian Long way out in the grass outside of turn number four. Have to see if he can get that car pulled around. Did not want to turn in turn four. Not seeing him making his way back out yet. He is well off the track. So it looks like we're gonna wave the white flag one more time around for Austin Honeycutt. Safety officials seem to think he's okay out there. So we'll keep on finishing up here in heat race number, uh, the heat race for your sport compacts. Connor Brown and Nate Fontenot getting together on the back stretch. Here comes Brian Long back on track and just comes to a stop. Austin Honeycutt picks up the heat race ahead of Danny Vanderveen. Looks like Brian Long got that car refired. He'll head off to the pits. So your heat race winner rolling down the front stretch here in the 3A machine will be Austin Honeycutt. Number 12, that's Troy Schurz. Outside of him, also from Baltic in the Volan Oil Dakota Riggers. Number one, Travis Schurz. Inside of row two, Eric Mosier, 1M. Outside, Tim Dan, 40. Inside row three, Ron Howe, 21, 55. John Hoeing and bringing up the field, Michaela Bolts of the 23s were green. Travis Shores will take the lead in a commanding lead through turn number one and two. Troy Shores holds it strong on the bottom. He'll hold, he'll hold on to second. Tim Dan ro rolls into third. But lap number one will be dominated by Travis Shores. Eric Moser pushes up the hill. Ryan Hall will take over fourth. Tim Dan now looks to the inside of Troy Shores going into one. Not going to make it happen on the bottom. Troy Shores too, so too strong. Everybody's stringing themselves out here. Travis Shores continues to lead. Troy Shores runs second, Tim Dan third. Brian Hoeing fourth, Ron Howell fifth. Six will go to the 23 of Michaela Colson, seventh to the 1M of Eric Mosier. 
Troy Shores looking to make it four in a row in the one car, and he's starting it off well in heat race number one. Has a green flag up in the air, two to go. Oh, trouble for, Tra for Travis Shores. He's going to shred a right rear tire. Brother Troy will take over the lead. Troy Shores in the 12 car will inherit the lead from Brother Travis. Travis slowing on the top of turn number three and four. That will bring out a yellow. Unfortunate for early race leader, the one of Travis Shores shreds the right rear tire. But the winner of that mishap for Travis Shores will be not only but brother, but look at his right rear tire. The 12 of Troy Shores, also with a flat right rear tire. That will benefit the 40 of Tim Dan. Fourth and McCaleb Volts rounds out the field in fifth. Four down, four laps remaining as we come to green with Tim Dan. a little tight, skates up the racetrack. Tim Dan will continue to lead. Eric Moser looked to the outside of Hoeing, of, of Howe down the back straightaway. Here comes Hoeing now to the inside. He can't make the pass. Tim Dan continues to lead, and here comes Ron Howe down low. Ron Howe to the inside of Hoeing, can't make the pass. Eric Moser once again looks to the top. He'll hold on to fourth. Tim Dan continuing to lead as the Greens high in the air, two to go. Ron Howe to the inside of Brian Hoeing, can't make the pass. The white flag is in the air as Tim Dan takes the white. Here comes Ron Howe once again to the inside of John Hoeing. It's Hoeing on the top, Howe on the bottom of the 21. Ron Howe gets a good push off the banking. He'll take over the second spot. Tim Dan comes out of turn number four. He'll take the win in heat number one. Ron Howe on the second. Third to John Hoeing, fourth to Eric Mosher, and rounding out the finishing order will be the 23 of Michaela Volts. As we will pass it over to Austin Lloyd for heat race number two. Thank you very much, TK Contracting. Late Model Street Stock Touring Series, first of three nights outside of the I-90 Speedway here. This is show-up points for Hartford for the I-90 Speedway Points Championship. So all of these drivers earning a set number of points, even number of points, regardless of finishing order. $1,000 to win for Late Model Street Stocks here this evening. $200 just to start the A-Main. 15 cars on hand. Driving the 13 machine from Hartford, South Dakota, Brian Hoeing in the Hoeing Farm sponsored ride. Inside our number three from Sioux Falls, the TNR Contracting, Casco Storage Unit number 64, that's Corey Yai. And to his outside, that'll be Marty Grilly out of Sioux Falls in the HH Mobile Home sponsored ride. Final starter at the tail of the field, that is going to be Tyler Zabell in car 25X. Up the speedway, three wide for Thorne up to number two. Look at Zach Olivier through the middle. Contact with Corey Yai, that open over for Marty Grilly behind him. Grilly and Corey Yai are side by side, even the field for fifth and sixth. The leading lap number one's gonna be Bradley Goff. Kutka starting to close in on the 83X. Can't quite make it out on the floor, but now Corey Yai is not the field of men. Zach Olivier behind them. Rounding out your top fives, Brian Hoeing, then Marty Grilly and Tyler Zabel battle at the tail of the field. Everybody bends post formation through the top four. Single file down the back straightaway turn through turns three and four. Riley Goff still leads over Dave Kutka and Corey Yai, then Zach Olivier, and now we got a car battle at the tail for fifth, sixth, and seventh. Brian Hoeing fifth. Marty Grilly to his inside, trying to make his way into the top five. Tyler Zabel, newcomer in the class. Tyler Zabel ran a couple of times last year for the young driver. 
out of the Sioux Falls area. I believe it's from Parker, South Dakota. Looking strong here for being early on in his racing career. Meanwhile, the battle for second starts to heat up now. Corey Yai has closed into the back of Dave Kutka. Car 27 runs the outside of the speedway. Yai tries to drive through the middle of the racetrack, points it to the bottom off a of turn number four, nothing doing downstairs this time. For a reload, refire, return to number one. Got a car link separate second and third now. Zach Olivier still back and fourth. Cohen's been able to hold off the charge of Marty Grilly to hold on to the top five spot. Two times around now for the 83 X of Riley Goff. Goff, Kutka, and Yai is your top three with two times around. This time through turns three and four, about a three car length advantage for the car number 83 X, Riley Goff. He'll look for the flag stand, see the white flag, one more trip around the speedway for the driver out of Crook, South Dakota. Battle for second, heating up. Here goes Corey out of the inside, side by side for the two spot here on the final lap. Yai to the inside, Dave Kutka uses the momentum of the top side to point the nose in front, down the back straightaway. Final time through turns three and four. Briley Goff to the top side, still a side-by-side -side battle for second. Out of turn number four, Checker flies out. Briley Goff wins heat race number two. Second goes to Kutka, Corey Yai comes home in third. Fourth is Zach Olivier, rounding out your top five will be Brian Owing, then Marty Grilly and Tyler Zabel rounding out your running order. But heat race number two goes to the driver out of Crook, South Dakota, the Midwest World Coral Pair, number 83X, Briley Goff. Thank you.